So, you've got crops, and you've been a good farmer. You pH balance your water, properly schedule your feeding, keep your grow area clean and healthy. You even sing to your plants. And we're talking smooth jazz, not that hippity hop stuff that all the kids on my lawn blast at odd hours of the night. You've done it all. But you find yourself in need of travel, and your plants can't live through the trip. Sure, you could ask a friend to water, and if you're not going to be gone for too long, you could do a deep watering and hope your plants can last before you get back. But the last thing you want to do to crops that you spent so much of your time on is to stress them. Friends don't always treat your plants the way you would, and drowning your roots by leaving them in standing water isn't really an option. What you need is an automated irrigation system for an indoor grow. This is the Kleber 8053 Automatic Drip Watering System. It's a 6.6-gallon .6 container with a programmable timer that can water up to 20 plants for up to 40 days, and it does it for less than $100. Out of the box, the Kleber comes with 33 feet of PVC hose, 20 drippers, and 20 spikes. The construction of the unit is pretty simple. Most of the 8053 is a container for the water, while the bottom panel hides a solenoid valve and the electronics for controlling water flow. Setup is simple. Add a 9-volt battery to power the timer and solenoid, then find a way to mount the Kleber at least 2.5 feet above the ground and 1.65 feet above the tallest pot. There are two outlets on the unit which will be connected in a ring with the PVC tubing and the drippers. Set out your plants as you want them arranged, then put a spike into the soil of each pot. You want the spikes to be as level as possible. Avoid going up or down with the tubing as much as possible, and if you must, put the lower pots towards the side of the ring away from the claver. If you don't take the time to do this, water may not make it to some of the drippers. Once you're satisfied with your spike setup, it's time to add the tubing and drippers. Start by connecting one end of the tubing to one of the outlets on the claver. Now run the tubing around the ring, securing the tubing into each of the spikes until you've reached the second outlet on the claver. Be sure to not leave so much slack that the tubing droops excessively. If it does, you've just created a section of tubing in which the water will pool, possibly obstructing your water flow. With the ring complete, it's time to start snipping. Cut the tubing before each of the spikes and add a dripper assembly. Make sure the dripper is positioned so that the water will drip into the soil, while not touching or directly dropping water on a leaf. You want to promote growth of the plant, not mold. Repeat the process for all the plants in your ring. Once all your connections are snug, make sure the programming switch is set to off, then fill the claver with 6.6 .6 gallons of water. Now we need to bleed the system to remove the air from the tubing. Those bubbles will restrict the flow, making watering uneven and unpredictable. Flip the selector to 10 days, then disconnect the PVC from one of the drippers. Hold your finger over the dripper outlet and let the water flow from the disconnected PVC tubing. Wait until you get a steady stream of water from the PVC tube, then cover it with your finger and release the dripper outlet. Once again, wait until the flow is steady, then reconnect the PVC tubing to the dripper. Your system is now air purged and ready to deliver a constant measure of water. Speaking of measure, we need to say a few things about the programmed watering. The Kleber has four options for watering. 10, 20, 30, and 40 days. However, that number is entirely dependent on the number of drippers you have installed. If you select 10 days, the solenoid valve will open for 12 minutes twice a day, delivering two ounces of water each time per dripper you have installed. If you've installed 10 drippers, that comes out to 40 ounces a day, which means our 6.6 .6 gallon reservoir will empty in 21 days. If you select 40 days, the valve will open for three minutes twice a day, delivering half an ounce of water per dripper each time. If you've installed 10 drippers, that's 10 ounces a day, which means our tank will be empty in 84 days. If you need more water for a larger plant, you can always install multiple drippers per pot. One last bit on your to-do list before you leave for your travels. Before you depart, switch the program selector to your desired watering schedule and look at each dripper, making sure that the water is flowing and that it's going into the soil. Also, it's probably not a bad idea to make sure that you have some sort of overflow protection. The last thing you want is to come home and find out that you've been watering your carpet for two weeks. In any case, if you need to be away from your crops for an extended period of time, at least now your plants will have a fighting chance.